hiked up the mountain to be able to meet with the people who are harvesting the vetiver for us. The first reaction I had was, was hope. It was beautiful. It was lush and green. It was very different from what you see in the cities and in Haiti. The next thing I, I really noticed was how hard they work. Their calloused hands, um, their weathered faces, but they took pride in their work. Vetiver is a really interesting crop in that it's uh, a very hardy grass. It can grow just about anywhere that was introduced there, uh, primarily for the fragrance industry. And we have targeted for the aromatherapy industry specifically, both with our partners on the ground there and the cooperative we're working with to grow our, our raw materials. The manual labor required to harvest vetiver is quite incredible. It's much harder than what I ever imagined. And they do this day in and day out. Not only do they pull the vetiver plant out of the, out of the ground, but then they've got to take a stick and they've got to beat the dirt out of the root system so that all they have left is just that pure vetiver root. 15 days to produce one gallon of oil. 500 of these bells to fill up one of those 20 foot tall steels and after it's harvested you'll get one gallon of oil for five guys work for 15 days. Haiti being the poorest country in the western hemisphere truly is an ideal place um, for a co-impact sourcing. They have tens of thousands of small scale farmers who are largely unorganized and our being able to go there and truly make a, an impact, a difference in a country that badly needs it presented us a great opportunity to, to undertake our sourcing initiatives there. As we, we met with the cooperative and, and to be able to really understand some of the challenges and trials that they were dealing with, first of all is that the income that they were receiving was not sustainable. Um, they would go out and harvest vetiver as they needed it, but it didn't sustain them throughout the year to be able to provide for their family, to provide the food that they needed, to be able to provide even the simplest of things like education. They couldn't afford to send their children to school because they didn't have that sustainable stream of income throughout the year. Today we had a great meeting. They proved uh, to me personally. I even cry after hearing certain things. You know, that makes me uh, more motivated to uh, have those people working very hard in the vegetable field to make it uh, a better life. Even if I have a distillery and I don't have those people, I won't be able to to work. And even if those people have their field full of vetiver and they don't have the distillery, nobody will be able. But it's like a chain on a motorcycle, on a bicycle that is going thief after thief, you know. So we have been uh, doing that work and having a company like doTERRA, you know, coming and have the same vision, and same route and have all the Haitian in the vetiver field have a better life including myself. What touched me the most as we met with them is to discover that they had no access to clean water, that they were traveling for three hours every single day to be able to collect water that wasn't even drinkable. This was really very touching to hear, you know, certain people in 2014 that didn't have water, you know, to even bathe or water to even cook their food. They have to walk hours from where we were to get a single gallon of water. And myself, I don't accept that. 
I want to change their way of life, but I won't be able to make a miracle. As we sat there, we understood the desires of their heart to someday have water. We made a commitment that we would bring that to them. We can do that because that's what we stand for.